Oceanside Unified School District has voted to close Reynolds Elementary. The school was being evaluated for a modernization project when testing showed that the campus was actually deemed unsafe. Fox 5's Sarah Allegra is joining us live in Oceanside with what comes next. Sarah. Kathleen, it has been a long fought battle to keep Reynolds Elementary open, but all of that came to an end last night, now leaving parents with mixed emotions and uncertainty. Many now considering whether or not to keep their student within the district or transfer elsewhere. I don't think I'm willing to keep my kids in the Oceanside Unified School District. Parents of Reynolds Elementary now left with tough decisions following a three to one vote in a special school board meeting to close its doors for good. It's really disheartening and it's uh, it's giving us zero trust in the board. Nick Thomas was just one out of many frustrated parents there during the vote. Two of his kids attend the school who woke up Tuesday to this reality. Sad. Uh, just to put it bluntly. Israel La Madrid, while more optimistic, says he moved to the area last year and chose Reynolds Elementary specifically for its Spanish speaking program. They are going to continue the program, but they're just going to have to do it at a separate school to include bringing the same kids over to the same uh, classrooms. District officials are backing their decision, signing test results showing poor soil conditions, which can also put the current building at risk if an earthquake were to occur. So I'm glad that they actually said something because that is a factor for me. I prefer my kid to be safe by the convenience of having to walk or not walk. Some parents believe there's more to the story. I think it's a convenient truth, so to say. Um, I think the risk is very low. There is three other schools, two of which that they plan to send, this, that they're suggesting they send the kids to school at, are in the same floodplain. Students looking to stay within school boundaries have the option of attending Del Rio Elementary, but worry another closure could happen down the block. As they've presented these soil report and this closure in a hastily fashion and they have given us no avenue on what to do next. Now, in response to this decision, parents tell me that they are considering taking legal action. As far as what's next, there will be a meeting held on the 23rd to decide where all 554 students will go next. As far as what's next for teachers and staff, no one is losing a job. However, they will relocate to other schools within the district. For now, live here in Oceanside, Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News.